In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert a mixed number into a decimal. So the example that I have is 3 and 2 fifths. How can we convert that into a decimal? 3 and 2 fifths is the same as 3 plus 2 over 5. So all we need to do is convert this portion of the mixed number into a decimal. And a simple way to do that is to use long division. So 2 over 5 can be expressed this way. Now how many times does 5 go into 2? 5 goes into 2 0 times. So we need to add a decimal point. Now let's add a 0. Now how many times does 5 go into 20? 5 goes into 24 times. So 5 go into 2.4 times. 5 times 0.4 is 2. So if we subtract 2 minus 2 we get 0. So this means that 2 over 5 is equal to what we see here, and that is 0.4. So this is 3 plus 0.4, which is 3.4. And so that's how you can convert a mixed number into a decimal. But for the sake of practice, let's go ahead and work on a few more examples. Try this one, 5 and 1 fourth. Go ahead and convert it into a decimal. So this is going to be 5 plus 1 over 4. And just like before, we're going to focus on that fraction. So let's use long division. 4 goes into 1 0 times, so we need to add a decimal. Now how many times does 4 go into 10? 4 goes into 10 2 times. 4 times 2 is 8, so 4 times 0.2 must be 0.8. 1 minus 0.8 is 0.2. So we're going to add a 0 and treat 0.20 as if it's 20. 4 goes into 20 5 times. And so we're going to get a 0 now. So we could say that 1 over 4 is equal to 0.25. So 5 plus 1 fourth is 5 plus 0.25, which is 5.25. And so that is the value of this mixed number. 5 and 1 fourth is equal to 5.25. Now let's move on to our third example. 9 and 7 eighths. Feel free to pause the video if you want to try this problem. So this is going to be 9 plus 7 over 8. And we need to focus on converting this fraction into a decimal. So 8 goes into 7 0 times. Now how many times does 8 go into 70? 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times 9 is 72. And 72 exceeds 70 so we could say 8 goes into 70 8 times. 8 times 8 is 64 so 8 times 0 0.8 is 6.4. 7 minus 6.4 is 0.6. And so let's bring down to 0. Now how many times does 8 go into 60? 8 goes into 60 7 times. 8 times 7 is 56. 60 minus 56 is 4. So if we add a 0 and get 40, 8 goes into 40 5 times. And so at this point we're going to get a remainder of 0. And so we could say that 7 over 8 is equal to the result that we see here, and that is 0.875. So this is 9 plus 0.875, and so that's 9.875. Thus, that is the value of this mixed number. 9 and 7 eighths is 9.875. Let's work on one more example, 4 and 1 third. Pause the video and work on it. So this is going to be 4 plus 1 third. So let's convert 1 over 3 into a decimal. 3 goes into 1 0 times. 3 goes into 10 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9, so 3 times 0.3 is 0 0.9. 1 minus 0 0.9 is 0 0.1. If we add a 0, 3 goes into 10 3 times. 
So 3 times 3 is 9. And then we're going to get a 1. And notice that this is going to repeat. 3 goes into 10 3 times. And once it keeps repeating like this, you know that we could say this is 0 0.3 repeating. So 1 over, excuse me, 1 over 3 is 0 0.3 repeating. So this is going to be 4 plus 0 0.3 repeating or 4.3 repeating. And so that is the value of 4 and 1 third. It's 4.3 repeating. That's it.